you educate uh, automotive engineers and um, with a specialization of uh, electronics, uh, vehicle dynamics, uh, combustion engines, lightweight design and also testing. I think we use SolidWorks since 2003, 2004, somewhere around that area. We were pretty quick in adopting a piece of CAD software. Uh, SolidWorks really stood out uh, amongst its competitors because the, um, the interface was really uh, intuitive. Um, every student had access to its own student license. So every student can work on his own laptop using SolidWorks license, which is pretty unique. And uh, the support we got from uh, CAD2M was also uh, quite outstanding compared to the competitors. Um, every time we get a new teacher or a new CAD teacher, um, we send them to the reseller to first get an introductory course so they know where all the buttons are. And uh, we also give them a certificate. So they start with a CSWA exam, then they get a CSWP certificate. And we make sure all our teachers are always certified. And if necessary, we give them an update training. So uh, there are a lot of areas in which CAD2M uh, uh, helps our educational facility. And, uh, we are, we're quite happy with that. It's, it's, uh, it's a relationship that is not matched by any other software uh, company or reseller uh, yeah, at the hunt. I think for an educational facility, simulation has one big benefit is that it's pretty easy to use. Because the software has a very easy interface, it allows the user to get comfortable and it knows where all the buttons are and it doesn't take a long time for the student to get familiar with the software and how to use it. And then we can focus on some of the more uh, of the, on the theory behind finite elements. And we can use simple small models to explain the theory behind finite elements in a practical way. And I think that causes our students to get a very solid base in finite elements, which we then build upon with more complicated FEA software and more complicated simulations from there on. I'm a team member of uh, Han Heider Motive. We are a student team from Hogeschool in Arnhem and Nijmegen. And we are participating on the Shell Eagle Marathon. It's a fuel efficient uh, race for students from uh, all over Europe. So the vehicle is especially built for uh, light, uh, aerodynamic and uh, for a less fuel, fuel consumption. Uh, first, during my internship, I used a pencil and paper to work out an idea. Afterwards, we quickly used uh, SolidWorks to make a model and visualize it in 3D. After that, we used SolidWorks simulation to validate the stresses and displacement. Uh, during that designing period, we uh, encountered difficulties by, with this design. The shape and materials made it hard to do it by hand. And SolidWorks simulation made it happen to uh, calculate this. The unique feature of our team is that we are driving on hydrogen. At the end of the process, the only emission is water. Because of that, it's eco-friendly. And I think, yeah, if you use uh, complex geometry or complex materials, you need to use a finite element analysis. That's in, in, in the common days, that's not always possible using a hand calculation. And um, yeah, using finite elements, you can also save a lot of money on performing actual testing. So it can also save a lot of money in, in engineering.